Hello, everyone. And the brave people who are still in the audience at the second part of the day. Um, I'm sure we're all hearing a lot about AR, VR, mixed reality. So uh, at least what I'm happy to share with you is the activities that we've done at Realview Imaging in the world of augmented reality. My name is Aviat Kaufman. I'm the co-founder and CEO of the company. And we are creating a totally new, totally different experience for augmented reality, and we call it live holography, interactive live holography. And basically the concept that we've come up with is the ability to generate a hologram that is in your hand. Most of the market is still generating holograms or so-called holograms that are far away from you. And we started off eight, nine years ago thinking, how can I have a hologram that I can really hold in my hand? And I'm happy to tell you that we have this technology working. It allows both ultimate visualization, but also the ability to have close range interaction with the holograms and have it all day use without any fatigue or nausea, which is one of the big problems with augmented and virtual reality. So one of the biggest problems in AR, VR, and uh, typically companies try to hide this problem is what we call the Virgil's accommodation conflict. Now this is a conflict that many of you have experienced uh, looking at 3D movies or looking at any AR, AR or VR device. Basically, you have a focal plane that is being built out of a 2D screen that is floating somewhere. If you close your eyes, it's just one screen that is floating there. And because you have two screens, they give you a sensation of 3D, but actually it's not a 3D image. They provide you an image that is an illusion of depth. And because of that, the image, by definition, you cannot touch it, you cannot interact with it. And over time, any of these solutions will, by definition, give you a headache or some nausea. And I will say something very strong. I think that in the market today, none of the existing solutions are really applicable for real uh, professional applications. Definitely not when you go to real important applications like medical imaging and things like that. And this is, I think, a limiting factor in general in the AR industry. And we've come to solve this problem. We are, for the past eight, nine years, we've been developing a technology that is called digital light shaping. So digital light shaping is using real holograms. A hologram is a very misused word. Many companies that are generating a stereoscopic image, meaning giving you a right eye and a left eye separation, they call it a hologram, but it doesn't make it a hologram. Basically, a hologram is an amazing technology that uh, Professor Dennis Gabor received the Nobel Prize for, and we are the only company that is commercializing this year a product that is really doing interference-based hologram. And the reason this is important is because using a real interference-based hologram just a second, it's not working. It provides you a new interaction zone. So we take the world from gesture to touch. Basically, all the current solutions, you have one single focal plane that is floating between two meters and infinity, and then you have just a separation between your eyes and you're getting an illusion of an image, but it's not a real image here. And what we are providing is a multitude of focal planes in parallel. So you can look at it as many, many focal planes that we are building either close to the user or far away from the user. And now you can interact, you can work inside this image. And we're taking this to two different markets. One is medical holography. So in medical, you need a very high-end augmented reality solution that can really allow physicians to do a procedure. Then another is professional augmented reality headsets, which are going to different markets. If you go to a physician, and I've personally talked to hundreds of physicians about this over the past eight, nine years, and you ask him, what would it take for you to work with an augmented reality solution? His answer would be three things. I will not put anything on my head. This is crystal clear for real medical applications. Second, I need a hologram that is very precise, that I can hold in my hand, and that it has many focal planes, so I can really use it. And third, I cannot use any system that, by definition, will give me a headache. And this is exactly what we've been developing. So what you see here is the Holoscope Eye system. This will be commercialized this year in North America. And basically, we're coming with an optical system above the user, but we're bringing just a window in front of him. And through this window, it's totally an augmented reality solution. He can see the heart of a patient floating in the air based on existing imaging modalities. So we're not changing the environment. We're not changing the ecosystem. We're taking existing imaging modalities that are being used on a daily basis, like ultrasound, CT, and others. Some of them are real-time modalities. We are streaming it to our system, and we are providing the user with a very usable tool, both to visualize the information, so now I can really see the image of the specific patient in real time, and the catheter moving inside, in front of me, 
and I can also manipulate this image. So I can go in with my finger or with a tool, I can rotate the image, I can crop the image, I can mark things inside. I can really work in a 3D environment, and this is a system that we're very proud of, that we think will may have a major impact in the world of medical imaging. We've actually done this. We've did our first clinical trials um, in collaboration with Philips Healthcare. So on this bed that you see here, we had our first patient. Those patients, their heart was captured in real time using 3D ultrasound and was streamed to our system and was floating in the hologram. And now we're taking this to the market. The next step for us in medical imaging is to take the same holograms that we are generating and instead of having them float above the patient, having them float inside the patient. And this is relevant for specific oncology applications. I think it's, a, we call it sort of X-ray eyes because the patient is closed and I can generate a real interference-based hologram precisely inside the patient. So I'm sort of having like X-ray eyes that can now see inside. In parallel, we are developing professional augmented reality headsets, and this is going to different markets, like computer-aided design, but basically the ability to have a headset that may look like some of the competitors out there, but it's the only headset that is really generating real holograms. So the same technology, we are now applying it to a headset that you can now have many, many focal planes, and you can have all the interaction capabilities that I showed you in medical imaging to other professional applications, like computer-aided design, and this design and this technology allows you to see the image in front of you. It changes the way you can interact with 3D because you can now in real time mark something in the image, rotate the image, and this can be of course in parallel in the screen and in the hologram, and this can go to other additional applications. And in general, augmented reality in our view is a world of professional applications over the next few years, and I think we are quite well positioned to be a part of this world. I'd like to take you for a minute into our lab and give you a glimpse of, of what's going on in our lab today and, and what it means to have a real interference-based hologram. You can take the sound a little bit lower. Thank you. So there's no visual effects here. This is just a camera in front of our optical system that is picturing the hologram. So this is an interference-based hologram that has about 30 focal planes. It's floating in the air in my hand. It, it's totally an interactive hologram, so I can now track my finger, we are doing that, and I can now manipulate the hologram in the air in real time. This is a whole a working technology that we've been developing for many years. Here you see this little parrot in my hand, and note that the focus is on the parrot and on the hand, but as this parrot is now flying in our lab, flying away, you see that the focus is on the parrot, so the hand becomes out of focus but now the tree comes into focus. So there is no one single focal plane if you put a camera in front of any other device, but there is many, many focal planes that are in the room. And as you can see, one of the limitations is the quality of, of 3D and holograms. So this is a very high quality holograms that we are doing for medical imaging. And we are, as I said, commercializing this. And of course we can have smaller holograms, but we can have also bigger holograms. It depends on the application, depends what you want to do but I think the capability is, of course, most important. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable.